Ugh, what happened? <laughs> the bad lady hurt you, did she? Never play with boys and ghouls, that's what Vera always said. Ah! What? What's wrong? What's wrong? Vera's head is on fire! You didn't notice that? Hello? People say Vera's crazy, but at least she knows when someone's head is on fire! Ha! Oh, um, do you know what's going on? Who was that inside my body? Yes, yes, Vera knows her eyes, girly. Old eyes, evil old eyes. Vera saw them long ago when... Ah! What? There is literally fire burning on the top of my head! Ah! There's gotta be a water bucket or a fire hose here somewhere. Ah, stop the fire! Always distracting me from delivering important info. Aha! That's the scythe, the very same. Ah, the blacksmith really blew it this time. You need to talk to her. The blacksmith knows Lady Evil Eyes. The blacksmith? She can help me get my body back? Where is she? Oh, kinda busy with my head. Actually, I'm fire here, girly! Vera could show you the way if it wasn't for this fire. Gosh, 1,832 years it's been burning and Vera still has to explain to people how distracting being on fire is. All right, Vera, I get it. I'll help you put your hat fire out. No rush. Um... Let me free! Uh, who chained you? And why'd they have to jail you in the bottom of the ocean? What... what are you? Must make choice. Must make free! Greetings. I am Captain Nemo. Hi, I'm Penny. Uh, you're dead? I thought you were, um, fictional. A useful misunderstanding that I must confess I encouraged. But yes, I am all too real. It's funny, I once met a mermaid. Something I too thought was fictional. So, I can imagine how you feel. A mermaid? Yes. And in that moment, I fell in love. And all I wanted to do was prove her reality. It didn't work out, I take it. No, sadly, it did not. 20,000 leagues under the sea, I encountered some of the challenges, which I now understand go hand in hand with homemade submarines built by an enthusiastic but inexperienced amateur. And, well, here I am. Observe, that button was for my torpedo launcher. Never did get to use it. Got the whole seat of my... I had a chainsaw. You're big into chainsaws, huh? Don't judge me, in a voice. Throughout history, we mermaids have lured sailors to their death with our seductive songs and dances. Well, is it so wrong to want to speed that process up with a 50-pound gas-powered symphony of saw and chain? I never looked at chainsaws that way before. Oh, I literally think about them all the time. Hmm. <laughs> 
Not the one wolf waiting for. Huh? Wolf think you understand later. That was weird. to a tree, you wish you purchase with a bit's waterproof chainsaws! Chainsaws! Vera can't put out the fire, Vera self, lady! Can't you find a hose or, or a fire hydrant? Or perhaps some sort of man that usually deals with these sorts of things? What the heck? I was watching a scary movie! Don't whip out on me now! So you like scary movies, huh? Ha! Nice try, my brain! Trying to make me hear voices in my head after watching Terror Lady 17. But that very same plot point was used in Terror Lady 16, so I'm not afraid of it anymore. <laughs> Dr. Ruben said this was... <laughs>
gosh, I gotta find something or I'll go crazy! What's the point of having new teeth if you can't chew on things? If you can't chew on everything! Tina, do you know what oral fixation is? Listen, my head! You're back! What should I bite now? Nothing, Tina. What's that? I should bite. I should a... That's not what I said. Ah, all the voices in my head agree! Now it is! <laughs> Merciful Lord of Chewing, I am your vessel, and through my chumps shall your chewy work be done! Never has become the only food that's also a toy! Choo choo! Oh, 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 no! I dressed up as Santa to surprise my little girl, which was brilliant. That's true. But I climbed down a chimney to surprise her even more, and then I got stuck, and then I died which was admittedly less brilliant. That's... that's also true. My gross spot and delightful final gift is still stuck in that, I'll say it, surprisingly tight chimney. Can you deliver it to her? Her name's Jenny and she's the greatest, big fan of bikes. I can help you, creepy Santa ghost. It's kind of what I do. Thank you. It turns out that Jenny was also a big fan of not having her dad getting stuck in a chimney until he dies, but what can you do? Hindsight's 2020. Can you? Bubbles away! Can you? was using this fire, right? I love 
you wish is a big thing coming from me. before my heart figuratively explodes and literally just stops beating, which, unless dramatic, would actually kill me! Ah, dang it! Here we go. I knew the risks, and I faced the consequences without regret. Oh, man, no way! I get to be a ghost and a fireman? This is great! I'm literally invincible to fire now. My firefight is gonna be so much more effective. This is the job I was born and then died to do. Ah, thank you, young man. Vera can finally complete a thought without being distracted by the incredible searing pain coming from her burning head. All in a day's work, Vera. Say, you are pretty young. A bit too young to die, aren't you? Hey, lady, can't you help him? His corpse is real fresh. Bring him back to life, yeah? Wanna be like me, everyone? Well, slash. <laughs> Respond to my confession about uh, you. Uh, uh, I have uh, no uh, idea how I did it. What uh, magic spell is this? Uh, is there another wizard here? <sighs> and. <laughs> 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 nice try, Hocus. But we're together till the end. For my next trick, I'm we're gonna walk over here, I guess. I was. Voluntarius Expendicus! And... This doesn't bother me at all. Nice try. A long line of magicians and it ends like this? With me? 
A washed up magician who can't even pull a rabbit out of his hat? Hocus seems to be an abusive jerk, Hocus. You take that back, subconscious! Well, am I wrong? No, but Hocus gets mad when I think forbidden thoughts. All right, man, we are gonna fix him, but good. Hocus, but we're together. And... What an idiot. You know, Hocus is a nice guy who's just trying his best. And you're being a jerk. Huh. If that's my conscience speaking, you're a bit late now, buddy. Uh, yes. This is your conscience speaking. Be nicer to Hocus! <laughs> uh, now I know I've drunk too much. You really are a f Oh my gosh, you are the first person whose mind I had to censor. What is wrong with you? Bring it, lady. Oh, it's on. Anyway. It's got a defibrillator! Now, hey there, Doc. I've got a defibrillator! Yeah, I noticed. Do you mind if I... Do I mind if you give me plausible deniability if I'm ever brought up on charges for shocking everyone with my defibrillator? Please, be my guest. Thanks, Doc. defibrillator was actually used for its intended purpose. Uh oh, I feel like I'm dying in reverse. It's actually pretty pleasant. Thank me later. Hey, I did all the work. Lou, seriously, how many times have I told you not to watch horror movies while having a heart condition? Several. And what have we learned? To listen to my doctor. Even though he seems wildly flippant with dangerous hospital equipment. You're welcome. So, are you feeling better, Vera? More able to complete a thought? Vera feels great, girly. So great, in fact, that it's time for her to move on to Witch Nirvana. But first, I give you a gift. Uh, what am I supposed to do with an old stinky hat? It knows the way to the blacksmith. But how? What am I supposed to do with it? What? Anyway, I gotta go now. Later, haters. <laughs> Dr. Rilbert's got a defibrillator! Stop there for a second. Oh, uh, here looks yes. a little too Stop watching this. <laughs> Just 
respond to my confession of... Oh, no. You do not go around without me. Huh. Maybe there's a nicer animal pal over here? Solve your problems with my new waterproof chainsaws! I personally guarantee that I'll... Hey! A witch hat! But there's no way it could... <gasps> it fits! It fits! And I feel great! Energized! Powerful! Pocus! Give me that hat, idiot! You know what? No, Pocus. You know what? I don't think you get to have power over me anymore. For my next trick, I'm gonna walk over here with confidence. Voluntarius Extendicus! No, no, no! Am I doing this? Wanna be like me, everyone? No, no, no. You need chainsaws! Waterproof chainsaws! What is this trickery? Ladies and gentlemen, prepare for the mystifying magic of Hocus the Magnificent! You know what, Pocus? You always were an unkind jerk. No, don't. You need me. You stupid fool. You need me. That's not true anymore. I... I don't think it ever really was. Water, water, water. Enjoy your new life as a thirsty frog, jerk. Guy, you don't seem too surprised that I'm speaking to you. Oh, I'm all alone down here. I'm just happy for the company. Did you learn a lesson, Pocus? Water. Hmm, seems like all your hatred for other people has been turned into a love for water. Water. <laughs> <laughs> I'm totally okay with this.
I'm almost certain you know what you're doing, Pen. Challenging. Mind if I borrow you for a bit? Hey, me casa is su casa. Take trees, but don't know how to show it. Have you considered chainsaws? Wherever you want to go, Pen. Hey, Biff, looking good. Thanks, Inner Monologues. I've recently confronted the toxic ideas I had had around masculinity and fashion. And instead, I have developed a really healthy self-image! Glad to hear it, my man. Things are so good, they'll cut... Things are... Get your things are... Out of the way, everyone! I'm on official spiritual business! And escape your wrath! Worry no... If you find yourself chained to a tree, you'll wish you purchased one of Vic's waterproof chainsaws! Chainsaws here! Waterproof to three! with a kiss. Oh, dang it! Human men are so fragile! And mortal and bony. Sorry, baby. That's three strikes and you're out. Oh, um, I'm actually allergic to fish. I, I really should have realized that sooner. Wow. Well, I guess now that it'll never work out between us, and this was a complete waste of time, all I can say is live and learn. Goodbye forever, Benny. Don't make the same ridiculous mistakes I did. Well, you're a 
That's great. I go miss other people. What's this? A thought. What's this? A body. It Everybody, why is everything so wet? Hey, uh, I'm Penny, and I guess I've got some bad news and good news. Give me the bad news first. You're dead. And the good news? You're uh, not trapped in chains at the bottom of the ocean anymore. True enough. Well, I suppose death is what you should expect to happen when you're holding a mile of chain and every bone in your body is broken. Oh my God. Worry, I clearly got better. Listen, do you know someone called the Blacksmith? Someone stole my body and I don't know what they... Where did you get that scythe? What? I... I remember this one. How could I forget? What is it? This penny is why I was killed and dumped here to rot for centuries. Still hell-bent on finding out what the deal was with her stolen body, Penny followed the directions of an ancient, mysterious, eldritch, and completely bonkers witch ghost.